Welcome back to the Late Show, everybody. I continue to be your host, Stephen Colbert. Um, now, uh, where were we? Oh, it looks like the Republicans' uh, other attempt to undermine the FBI is crumbling. Remember FBI agent and guy who looks like an FBI agent, Peter Strzok? <laughs> Strzok was fired from Mueller's investigation for anti-Trump texts and emails where he called Trump an idiot and an enormous douche. <laughs> look, look, hold on, hold on. If you're going to fire somebody for portraying Donald Trump like a douche on the internet, maybe start with Donald Trump. <laughs> Republicans, let's be fair. Let's right be... Let's not. Okay. Republicans have hyped Strzok's story as evidence that there's a deep state conspiracy within the FBI to bring Trump down. Remember, in October 2016, how Comey sent Congress a letter saying he's reopening the investigation on Clinton's emails just days before the election. Remember that? Remember that dramatic inflection point that shattered our universe into two timelines <laughs> and we're stuck in the bad one now? <laughs> okay, remember that whole thing? Well, yesterday we learned that Strzok co-wrote that letter. Uh-oh! <laughs> So, the guy they accused of conspiring to take Trump down helped get him elected. It's the perfect ending to a perfect waste of time. <laughs> it turns out this whole conspiracy was just a long, pointless struck fest. <laughs> but despite all of this chaff, Mueller's investigation is grinding on. One thing Mueller is looking into is the infamous Trump Tower meeting during the campaign when Russians promising dirt on Hillary Clinton met privately with Don Jr. and Jared Kushner. That's how you bond in the Trump family. Hey, Jared, let's grab some brews and aid a hostile foreign power. Don't tell Ivanka, it's dude collude night. <laughs> now, you gotta have that. You gotta it's have the boys dude night. It's dude Ladies don't understand. Yeah, they can't Ladies that. don't understand. No. When news of that meeting leaked last year, all the Trumplings had to get their lies straight. So, on Air Force One, President Trump and his advisors raced to cobble together a news release that described the meeting as being about an obscure Russian adoption policy. Well, that makes sense. I mean, Trump's been interested in adoption ever since Eric was born. <laughs> now... I'm sorry. I feel sorry. Oh. Now... I know. Someone's little boy. Now... Now we're learning more about that cover-up, and it involves White House communications director and wax figure of Nancy Kerrigan, Hope Hicks. <laughs> Because now a former member of Trump's legal team is planning to tell Mueller about a previously undisclosed conference call with Trump and Hope Hicks. What a thrill ride! Memos! Conference calls! Still no porn star? Still... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take the safe search off? Still no? Nothing? Remember, before meeting with the Russians, Don Jr. said in his emails that he loved the idea of colluding with the Russian government. Well, this former legal guy is going to say that Hicks told President Donald Trump that the Trump Jr. emails will, quote, never get out. Oh, there's no way. How could they? Unless Donald Trump Jr. does the stupidest thing possible and <laughs> tweets them out himself on July 11th, 2017. <laughs> so... Good luck, Miss Hicks. These are the Trumps you work for, and you are literally the only hope they have. <laughs> we'll be right back with Michael Shannon.